Hollywood, the television capital of the world. It's time to go reeling through the greatest television shows of all time on Couch Potato. Hi there, I'm Joe Alasky, and hey kids, what time is it? That's right, time for me to get some new shirts and to meet my next door neighbor and favorite host, Mark Summers. Thank you very much. Welcome to Cast Potatoes. This is the game focusing on the best of television, both past and present. You never know what shows might pop up back there on our screens, but, you know, we need people to play this game. There are contestants. Let's meet the challengers. They call themselves the A-Team, right over here. Yeah. Yeah. I would like you all out there in television land to say hello to Kevin, Rick, and Jim. And uh, how you folks all uh, get to know each other? Well, we've been friends for several years, and we're also musicians. Uh, we get together once a week or so and knock around on guitar, drums, and bass. Who's the drummer? I am. You are, and you're the bass player then? Mm -hmm. All Thank right, you. very good. And the Yay Team means what? Anything in particular? Well, we're musicians, so we kind of like the theme song. Oh. Dun, 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 boosh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, and can we get an instant replay of that? case the <laughs> folks in Iowa missed that. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> da, 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 da. Boom. Okay. All right. That's the A-Team. This is our chance. They call themselves the Mad Taters. <laughs> well, $8,750 is what you currently have. And in case you missed the show yesterday, folks, we found out that there is a Channel 1 uh, on, the, on the dial. <laughs> we were playing the Channel Roulette bonus game, and, and Bruce was in uh, just such a fit of excitement he yelled channel one and we all sort of sat here and looked at each other for a second but uh bruce uh, did you ever find out what was on channel one never found out mark okay well <laughs> hopefully you get a chance to see that today let's talk about uh, the rules here on couch potatoes we're going to be asking you anything and everything about what else television from daytime prime time even commercial time and anytime there's something on the tube guess what a couch potato will be there watching each round begins with a tune-in question. The team that answers correctly earns 25 rating points, and then they get control for the spin-off questions that follow. Whichever team has the most rating points at the end of the game gets $1,000, and then they go on to play our Channel Left bonus game for how much? $5,000. Okay, let's get started. Tune-in question for the A-team as well as the Mash Taters. Chip, Ernie, or Robbie? Which of these is the name of Allie Lowell's son? <laughs> Yes, Anita. Chip. Chip is right on Kate and Allie. And that gives you 25 rating points and control on this spinoff round based on that series called Kate and Allie on the CBS television network, okay? Jane Curtin, who plays Allie, was once a regular on Saturday Night Live. Her co-star has been in several series. Who plays Kate? Yes, Kathy. Susan St. James. Yes, another 25 points on your side of the board. Can you name another series that Susan St. James has been in? McMillan and Wife. Boy, you win. You don't win uh, points, but you win. I don't know what. Okay, Bruce, Anita. When Kate and Allie decided to become roommates, they found an apartment in what hip part of New York City? Yes, Anita. Greenwich Village. That would be the answer. Greenwich Village. That's a familiar position to be in here for the match taters. Bruce is waiting to answer question number three, and it goes something like this. Kate has had an on-again, off-again romance with a plumber named Ted. Allie has just remarried a guy named Bob Barsky. What does he do for a living? He's yes, a Bruce. Sportscaster. Boy, you're right again. You now have 100 rating points. A clean sweep for the Mash Taters, and they do this often, A Team, but you can jump in right now in this next tune in question. Who knows what will happen? We'll all find out together right now. The Pony, the Aardvark, or the Mouse? Which of these was a million selling record for Soupy Sales? Yes, Anita. The Aardvark. Is incorrect. It was the mouse, and that means you folks get control. Yeah, right. No points are awarded. And we are going to ask questions about, uh, it has to be one of my favorite shows, one of the reasons I'm in this business, the classic Soupy Sales Show. And uh, let's get started over here with the A-Team. Has okay? anyone seen my dog? <laughs> Uh, your dog, does he have uh, one paw? One paw. Uh, and he has one maw, too. And he has one maw? <laughs> and, and he's like <laughs> nine feet tall? Yeah. And does he go, <coughs> Yeah. Uh, and does he have another friend who goes, <coughs> Yeah. No, I haven't seen him. 
check, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, help yourself eat up, guys. <laughs> we are. We are. You used to kiss you all the time, too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you used I, to say, I, 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 don't, don't kiss. kiss. Don't kiss. I said, it's, it's not healthy. And he'd say, uh, and I said, you mean you'll get used to it? He goes, uh. <laughs> <You know. Okay. laughs> We're going to do a spin off here in a second. Well, okay, well, we're going to do some questions based on your show over here for the A team, okay? Okay. All right, you want me to give him? Yeah, questions? we can do that. Okay. Otherwise, you serve yeah, no we're... purpose standing here. You really. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for holding me up. Anyway. Uh... The, the, the dog we were talking about was, uh, uh, you know, it was Black Tooth, but mm -hmm. the, the meanest dog in all the United States was another, uh, was a, what was his name? The other dog. It was the meanest dog, yes, oh, yeah. White Fang. Yes. That's right, White Fang. <laughs> yeah. All right. Look at that 25 rating point. And now that means that Rick and Kevin uh, get this next question. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, let's see, I had a, uh, a puppet that used to go, hey, booby, and his name was Pookie. Do you know what kind of uh, animal he was? Ooh, Pookie. Remember Pookie? Apparently not. Can you take it over here, mashed taters? Ooh. Kathy? A lion? Yes! yes. Pookie the lion! Yeah. That's it. Oh, there's Pookie oh, right, right there. Yeah, that's, right. That, that's, that's, that's Pookie on the left. <laughs> I should do an impression of Pookie. Can I do a Pookie yeah, impression? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we're over here with the Mash Taters and Bruce and Indy. You get this last question. Okay. Uh, I, I did a, a, a dance uh, craze a record uh, called The uh, Mouse, and it sold a million records. And if you didn't get one, you see me after the show. I have 900,900. <laughs> I have them up to my bones. And it was The Mouse which in, in, uh, in, the, in the 60s. Can anybody tell me how The Mouse was done? Demonstrate The Mouse. Demonstrate Can you do that, the Bruce mouse? or Anita? Ooh. Hands up. Can you take it over here, A-Team? Anybody demonstrate the mouse? Okay, uh, Rick. Hi. No, <laughs> that is not it. Who better to show us but Soupy? Soupy, yes, Soupy. I, 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 you, you would push, you push your teeth out and wiggle your fingers by your ears. There you go. Sure, you're laughing, hey. but it kept me out of the service. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Well, at the end of this round, we find out the Mash Taters have 125 rating points, 25 over here. I grew up on your show. Uh, I grew up in Indianapolis, and my parents uh, had relatives in Toledo. So I used to have breakfast with you, yeah. and then I had lunch with you. And yeah. it, it's still thrilling that you're actually, I'm, I'm nervous here talking well, to you. Well, you're wonderful, and I love this show. I well, love it. Tell and, me uh, about uh, some of the behind-the-scenes stuff that went on. on the well, program. I think probably the, the, probably the most famous thing that happened was when I was suspended in 1965 because we had like a minute to go, and, and the TV was live in those days. So they said, what do you want to do? We're coming out of a commercial. So I said, I'll ad-lib something. So when we came out, it was New Year's Day night, around 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So when the camera came out on me, I walked up to the camera, because I always worked very close, and I went, hey, kids, I said, last night was New Year's Eve, and your mom and dad were out having a good time, and it's only right, because they work hard all year long. I said, they're probably still in the bedroom sleeping. I said, what I want you to do, I want you to tiptoe in the bedroom. Don't wake them up. And I said, and you'll probably see your mom's pocketbook on the floor and your dad's pants. Don't wake them up. I said, but I want you to go in your dad's pants and your mom's pocketbook and you'll see a lot of green pieces of paper and there are pictures of guys with beards. And I said, I want you to take all those green pieces of paper and you put them in an envelope and on the envelope you write Soupy Sale, <laughs> Channel 5, New York, New York, and you know what I'm going to send you? What? A postcard from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Well, everybody, we laughed and we went home, you know, and it, it was like you didn't know, nobody in those days knew the power of television or whatever. We had $80,000. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but, but kids were very hip in those days, like they are today. I mean, we got, they sent in green pieces of paper and Monopoly money, but I did get a dollar from some 28-year-old girl who said, I've seen your show and you ought to go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> I want to say, a lot of the things that I'm doing today are responsible because of you. Thank I'm you very, very much, Shubi. Thank you. Shubi, say it again, Sam. We're going to come back. One more touch of Kato right after this. Come down and meet these folks right over here. Ah, oh, Soupy Sales. Everybody loves the Soup Man. Some very diverse personalities love the Soup Man. For instance, Rudolf Nureyev danced the mouse on the Ed Sullivan Show. Do you know that? 
And did you know Frank Sinatra himself, the chairman of the board, took a pie on Snoopy's old program. And you know, he's taken a lot of pies in his lifetime. Me, I'm a comedian. Just once, just once I wish somebody would give me a pie. I'd love that. <laughs> you know, somehow it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. But uh, we'll be right back after these words. Let's see. If you're in the Fort Lauderdale area, Soupy's going to be down at the comic strip down there, and he's a super entertainer. Please stop down and see him. You'll have a great time, and uh, I know you're going to really enjoy his humor. We're going to come back now and play round three. We're already here. Why don't we get started? This is where the uh, stakes go to 50 rating points for each correct answer. A team, you're a little bit behind. You could catch up, and uh, everybody's going to play in this tune-in round. Diet Coke. Alka-Seltzer Alka <laughs> or Cruex? You see, I know what's coming. <laughs> According to the ads, which of these would you try just for the fun of it? Yes, Anita. Diet Coke. Yes, yeah. it would be Cruex. That's right. <laughs> you see, Cruex is for something entirely different. All right, you now have 175 <laughs> rating points, and we're going to talk about the subject of TV commercials, okay? Anita, Bruce, Kathy, for 50 rating points. According to the commercial, if you've got an upset stomach, how do you spell relief? And you have to spell it. Yes, Kathy. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. Yes, you're right. Add another 50. Lily. Bruce, Anita, for another 50 rating points. No, it's not Morton Downey Jr., but according to the ads, who is the loneliest man in town? Yes, Bruce. That would be the Maytag repairman. That would be right. Yes, another 50 for you. And here's another unusual situation. Anita is the last person to answer for the mashed taters. This could bring you up to 325. According to one sentimental commercial, what should you send when you care enough to send the very best? Yes, Anita? Hallmark. Yes, a Hallmark reading card. That's right. And you now have 325 rating points. Still just 25. You have some time. We have a couch up, but let's go to our fourth tune-in round right now. Dogs in love, gerbils in pants, or pigs in space? Which one was a regular? Yes, Rick. Pigs in space. Yes, that was a regular on the Muppet Show. <laughs> Brings you up to 75 in our spin-off round. The subject is kids TV, and there's a little uh, potato wet down there watching television. And this is for 50 rating points. Good luck to Kevin, Rick, and Jim. On Pee Wee's Playhouse, every time someone says the secret word, something happens. Today's secret word is spud. I'll say the word, and you do what they do on Pee Wee's show. Ready? Spud. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You got to scream. 